schools identified in one building is not okay because you're creating a problem. That's, that's not putting us together. That's not creating unity. Tensions rising tonight as parents, alumni, and the community voice their opinions about a plan to shut down two Eastside high schools and merge them into Glenville High School. They're worried about travel time, the future of the historic buildings, and most of all, safety. News finds Amanda Van Allen live in the newsroom with their concerns. Well, Danita, they say it all boils down to this. It's yet another thing the east side of Cleveland is losing that will make life harder for the people who live there. Monday night's meeting was filled with anger and pain. And the reason why you don't have anybody in these classrooms because you don't offer these kids anything. No matter what you wanted to do at Collinwood, you could have done at one time. Uh, now, now there's nothing there. Community members, parents, and even council people pack the auditorium at Glenville High School to address concerns about the Cleveland Metropolitan School District wanting to merge three high schools. If they go forward with the plan, Collinwood High School and Martin Luther King Jr. High School would close down and merge with Glenville High School. But many parents say that's just not safe. I understand how dangerous it is for a young man or a young lady, um, let alone to go from block to block, but now you ask them to travel miles to hostile tele, um, territory to go to school. Residents also say the walk or RTA bus ride to school could also be concerning. Abandoned buildings, vacant houses, take care of those needs, you know what I'm saying, and leave that school open, you know what I'm saying, and give them kids an opportunity. Some local lawmakers say they're going to fight this to the very end. They're foreclosing on our neighborhoods. They're foreclosing on our neighborhood kids, on their future. I'm not going to accept that. My job here today is present our current thinking and then to listen uh, to every single comment and see if there are ideas we hadn't thought of. CMSD Superintendent Eric Gordon says he understands the community's frustrations, but closing the schools might allow for better opportunities. So this building was built for 3,000 students. Uh, right now it has about 300 students, and so lots of excess seats, and it doesn't allow us to do the kind of programming we want, and so by consolidating, we believe we can in, uh, increase the quality of the programming, add back electives and career tech education and things like that that we just simply can't do for really, really small schools. This is meeting four out of six. Nothing has been decided yet, and the community will have more time to voice concerns before the district makes its decision. Danita.